This is part 19 of AngularCRAD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to validate form fields using regular expressions. To use a regular expression, we use Pattern Validator. Pattern Validator can be used to meet most of our application complex validation requirements. Regular expressions are extremely useful when you want to validate if a given string conforms to a specific pattern. For example, you can use regular expressions to check if a given email confirms to a valid email format. Similarly, you can also use a regular expression to check if a provided postcode confirms to a specific country postcode format. In addition to checking conformity with a pattern, they can also be used to extract substrings from a given input string. In our previous video, we used the Angular built-in email validator to validate this email form field. In this video, let's use the pattern validator to do the same. Here is the email field HTML. Notice at the moment we are using the Angular built-in email validator to validate if the provided email confirms to a valid email format. Instead of using this Angular built-in email validator, let's use the pattern validator. With the pattern validator, we also specify a validation expression. And this validation expression right here validates if the provided email confirms to a valid email format. It is easy to learn regular expressions. Initially, they may appear complicated, but if you get the basics right, it is very easy to understand them. However, you can also find the commonly used regular expressions on the internet. For example, if you want to find a regular expression to validate email address, simply search the internet using the string regular expression for email validation. That's how I found this regular expression. So the only thing that is left to do is display this message, email is invalid if the pattern validator fails validation. Remember, when we were using the email validator to validate the email, we are checking on the errors collection property if we have got this key email. When we were using the email validator, if it fails validation, then Angular is going to attach this key email to the errors collection. Similarly, when the pattern validator fails validation, Angular is going to attach the key pattern to the errors collection property. So we simply check for that key. And if that key exists, that means the pattern validator has failed validation. And at that point, we want to display this message, email is invalid. Notice when the email field receives focus and we leave the field without typing anything, we see the message email is required. That's because on the email input field, we are also using the required validator. Now, if I type something into the email field, and if that is not a valid email format, we immediately see the message, email is invalid. And this message is coming from our pattern validator. If we type the complete email address, and if it confirms to a valid email format, notice the validation error message goes away immediately. When I delete a few characters, and when the email becomes invalid, we again see the message, email is invalid. If we delete everything, the required validator kicks in and we see email is required validation message. Now let's take this email validation to the next level. Here is what we want to do. Instead of allowing any email domain, we only want to allow prajimtech.com email domain. So only prajimtech.com is a valid email for us. Any other email like abc at gmail.com, xyz at microsoft.com, all those domain email IDs should be considered invalid. To achieve this, all we have to do is provide a regular expression that specifies that pattern. And here is that regular expression. So if you look at this regular expression, notice we are looking for Prajim Tech and the domain extension is .com. So if we save our changes and then take a look at the browser, Notice when I type abc at gmail.com, that's not a valid domain for us. We immediately see the error message, email is invalid. If I try abc at prajimtech.com, the error goes away. If I try abc at prajimtech.net, the validation error message is still there because only prajimtech.com is a valid email for us. So we have just seen how powerful these regular expressions are. Using them, we can meet most of our application complex validation requirements. Here is the example that we just discussed. Thank you for listening. 
and have a great day.